Hi guys and welcome back to Project Ford UK. I'm Danny and today I'm going to be fitting the new exhaust on the Mitsubishi Evolution 6. First I'll start by showing you the exhaust that I've got. It's a fully standard one from Mitsubishi. Original parts, um, it cost about £400 I think. I've also got new gaskets and I've got new bolts for it as well. So I'll show you the exhaust. This is the standard tailpipe and back box for the Mitsubishi. I'll just go around the other side now and show you the part number. And there it is, it's MR312195. So if you ring up any Mitsubishi dealer and give them that number, they'll order you a back box and charge you a lot of money. This is the middle section of the exhaust. As you can see there, it's MR385773. And again, ring Mitsubishi up and they'll order you one of these for your Evo 6 and charge you a lot of money. The first job I'm going to do is I'm going to get underneath and get some WD-40 on all the bolts all the nuts, especially where it's snapped off to make it just a little bit easier when I try and free them off in a minute with the socket set so I'm going to get underneath now, do that and also remove the old exhaust I've got the old exhaust off now all the brackets look like they line up but look at the state of this looks like a skin snake no wonder it's only like an absolute tank So I'm going to take all the bushes off now and get them on the exhaust and try and get them other bolts off. I've had to call it a day now because it's gone dark and I can't see and I'm absolutely starving. The old exhaust came off really easy but where the exhaust had snapped where it's attached to the catalytic converter the nuts had absolutely shot, they won't come off so I've had to take the whole cat off. Uh, when I took the cat off I've realised that started to rot through as well so I'm going to have to find either an aftermarket one or a genuine one from Mitsubishi. I'm going to give Mitsubishi a ring in the morning and if not I'm going to have to get one off eBay because this car needs to be put back on the road. It is a bit gutty when you can't get it done in one night. Things always seem to go wrong when you lay on your back on the floor under a car but that's part and parcel of trying to do things yourself. I will get this car done but like I just said I'm going to have to call it a night now and uh, have a bit of a chill out and hopefully I can get these parts sorted tomorrow. It's now Wednesday, the new catalytic converter hasn't turned up today. I also dropped the old catalytic converter off as well to have the bolts cut where it had snapped and also have the extra bit of exhaust taken off. There's nothing wrong with that catalytic converter, the heat shield's just rusted through a little bit but apart from that it's still in full working order. But I've ordered a BM catalyst aftermarket catalytic converter and I'm going to stick that on so everything's new and see how we get on. If that catalytic converter is rubbish I'm just going to slot the original one back on but I think it was 90 odd pound off eBay. I'm going to do as much as I can on this car now because the catalytic converter didn't turn up today while I was at work. So luckily I've got a work colleague who works later than me who's going to drop it off at my house tonight so I'm going to get the middle section of the back box on the car now and then spin it round and fingers crossed she turns up soon with the catalytic converter. I probably just said catalytic converter about 300 times there but oh well. The gasket for the rear section of the exhaust to the middle section, which is this one, is MB687014. And the bolts that hold it in are MF241286, and you need three of them. I've put the standard exhaust on now. It looks a bit lost in there now because I'm used to the bigger exhaust. I do love the look of it though, and I'm glad I've gone for standard. It look miles better when the car's back down on the floor level. The exhaust is all in place now. All bolted up. Just loose. And then I'll just await for the cat coming, which should be here any time. I'll just let you have a closer look at this exhaust where it's snapped there, just after the catalytic converter. I'll just run down the length of it. As you can see, it looks like it's rotted from the inside out looks a lot worse as well now seeing as it's been outside overnight for the past couple of nights as well it's a shame really I don't think the back box has actually gone it looks like it's just on this on this middle section here there's a nice exhaust this as well but I always thought the car looked like sounded like an absolute tractor it'll be good to see what it sounds like with this new exhaust on but it's miles quieter it's now going dark, the catalytic converter has just been dropped off, so I'm going to unbox it now and get it stuck on this car and get it started. I've just undone the, the box now, it's a lot lighter than the original one, and I ordered an extra gasket as well which they've not sent, they've sent it separately which is just stupid, but 
I'm going to get this slotted on now. It's now 20 to 8 at night. I've just had to nip to Alford's and get some extra bolts to put the cat on. Um, I really need to put that gasket on as well, the missing gasket. But I've rolled the car forward now and I'm going to start it up and see how it sounds. Good morning people, it's Thursday, the Evo's done, it's snowing again, I'm on my way to work and I don't know if you can hear it or not hear it, but this car is so quiet now, I absolutely love it. When you're outside around the back of the car, it's got a lovely tone to it, no more buh, 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 buh. it just sounds perfect to me, I'm really happy that I've put this standard exhaust back on. The other thing that's making me really happy at the moment as well is I've put new wipers on the car. I've never bought wipers for a car in all my life. And I can't tell you how satisfying it were when I put them on and it just did that first sweep where there were no jumping, skipping, squeaking, no nothing. They just did exactly what they were supposed to do and clear the windscreen. They do say it's the small things in life. The car now feels a lot more responsive to me and I don't know whether that's just for the fact that half the exhaust were missing on top through the rot, but the car just feels a lot more punchy when you put the accelerator down. Round the back, it's still adjusting to what the car looks like with the smaller exhaust on, because the other thing you could fit your fist in and more. But like I said, I prefer the standard exhaust. I just think it looks so nice, and that's what the car was made with. I don't know how many Evo 60s are out there with a standard exhaust on, but I bet there's not many. People do, do like the, the loud noise and tones of the exhaust, but for me, it's a standard exhaust all day, what the car was built with. And as always, it's been a bit of a journey with this exhaust. It started on Monday night. It's hard with not having anywhere to actually work on the cars because your first chance of getting them up on ramps is when you're pretty much going to be working on them. Um, I'm in my mum and dad's backyard while my house is being built and like they need to put their car back in the backyard at night. It's not fair me leaving it there all week. So I'm under pressure that way as well. And then if anything needs ordering, it's job stopped. It's not like I've got an array of tools there that I can use, but I really enjoy doing it, as stressful as it is when I'm, I'm getting stuck or things aren't going my way, when it's completed and you've done it yourself, there's no better feeling. That pretty much wraps this drawn out exhaust video out. I hope it's not a 10 minute, but it probably might be. That's the end of this drawn out exhaust video. The exhaust is on, I'm happy. The car's running mint again. Don't sound like a tractor. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, any comments, you know where the comment section is below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video because I'm going to start looking at undersealing this car now and different products that they do and I'm going to be attempting to do it myself.